Hey everyone, in this quick video, I wanted to show you how to set up FaceTime on your iPhone or your iPad. On a Mac, it's a different process, so I have a different video about that. But I'm gonna jump into my iPhone and set up that process for you. So what you wanna do is, you wanna go under settings, and then go ahead and scroll down here, and you should have a FaceTime option. I'm using iOS 12 here, but it's been here for a while now. Press FaceTime, and if it's your first time using it, you have to turn it on here. You could also turn it on in the app, but this is the best way to turn it on. Just go ahead and turn the slider to the right, and then it's gonna take a second for it to activate. So give it a second here, it's gonna activate. You could also use your Apple ID for FaceTime if you want, so you could go ahead and press that and log into your Apple ID if you wanted to do that. And the number you could be reached out on FaceTime shows up right here and block calls will show up also. If you've previously blocked calls, they can't access your FaceTime. So now that it's set up, let's go ahead and get out of here and launch the FaceTime app. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the app. And here, if you've never used it before, there will be nothing here. So it would look like this. You can start using FaceTime video or audio by entering someone's name, email address, or phone number. So your very first on my FaceTime will look like this. All you have to do is press the plus sign and you could either press the plus sign to access your contact or type someone's email phone number. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and press plus sign and I'll just choose someone. And now when their name is here, even if I typed in their number, I could now choose audio or video. So if I choose audio or video here, it's gonna call them. I just hung up right away. But that's how you use FaceTime right here. And if you ever wanna delete any of these, you could basically either edit, select and delete, or you could just slide just like you would under your contacts and delete, and then it will be back to normal if you wanna keep your page clean. But that's how you use FaceTime on your mobile devices. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for a lot more easy to follow videos just like this one, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.